I think the biggest challenge is trying to take this design that, that sits on a piece of paper and say, how do we make this so that the band can do what they do? I think all of us are very passionate about trying to make sure the band has the best possible surface they can to deliver their energy to the audience. And when we do that right, that energy comes back from the audience to the band, it goes back to the audience, and then we have a Metallica show. Stuff like this takes a, a, a lot of time to, to develop, to put together. I know our production team has been working on this for a couple years, just building the stage. Fresno was sort of the end of the building process. It was the first time that all of this went into one place and we actually got to see what this was. I think we were in Fresno for about 21 days and we ran the building 24 hours a day in different shifts, different people working at different times. It was very exciting to see all of this stuff come off paper and out of 30 trucks. As long as you stay out of those kill zones right here, you're fine. The primary purpose of that exercise was to load all this gear in and run it. You know, this is, this is like building a brand new race car. You've got to put it on the track and run it to find out how it's going to act and get all its characteristics and then tune it. Same thing with this, only it's 36 trucks worth of race car. <laughs> and, you know, and a few hundred thousand pounds a year. We built the aircraft carrier and uh, Tate Towers came up with a few ideas to help things along. Peter Mensch just kept adding more and more things. These are ideas that we're trying to see how you like them so we can detail. Okay. So if you like something, we can enhance it or we scratch it. I'd rather have more of it and take it out. The stage itself is such a monstrosity and there's so much stuff going on underneath it. If you're under the stage at the wrong time, you could be cut in half. Under the stage is packed with mechanics. You know, when Peter says to me, oh, we should have had five more crosses in there, I'm like, Peter, there, there's no room to put a Q-tip in there. You can't have five more crosses in there. I guess it's like a giant game of Tetris. It's probably too big, really. This show is a very heavy show. We're probably somewhere around 185,000 pounds hanging in the roof. There's 10 coffins that weigh 5,000 pounds a piece. How you distribute the weight throughout the building is a very difficult thing to achieve. And everybody had to compromise. The lighting people had to compromise on the equipment. Sound had to build new cabinets to save us 40,000 pounds. There wasn't anything in that grid and that ceiling that hasn't been worked out to the millionth of a pound. All right, you have all your coffins. Style has been replaced. We are all 100%. We are show ready. We've got these guys trapped in coffins during during cyanide, and it's um, you know it's really cool. There's a ton of really good video moments when the coffins come down. In those LED screens, you actually see people that we've put inside the coffins, and they're struggling to get out. We've got a great cast of people. It's one continuous take, seven minutes. I got emails from them the next day saying, um, I'm covered in bruises. It was, it was a very physically intense thing. So in one of the songs, what we did is we actually built a proprietary system that allows us to track each band member as he walks around the stage. There's footage underneath them, like rings of fire and other pieces that actually walk with them as they go on the stage. We're the first people, for my belief, to be doing that live. Would you like me to put the chair away, sir? Yes, roll it up, chair away, roll up. Chair and testicles coils go bye-bye, roll drops in, and let's look at one. So the stage is amazing. I did some tests because they have a lot of media in the stage. And I wanted to make sure that the media would work and there wouldn't be flicker or any problems there. So I, I had, that was incredibly fun, I will say. Uh, can we stand by the battery drastic coffin maze? Sebastian, when you're ready, can you let me know, please? When we make music and it's just, you know, James and I, or James and I and Kirk and Rob or whatever in a small room. It's just not super complicated. These types of undertakings, they involve so many different people. And I feel like a lot of times I'm the one that's kind of caught in the middle, trying to like have the neutral overview of all of them and try to figure out what's best. Is this the white zombie? Quite often, guitars take a little while before they sound right. But this one came out of the box. 
sounded awesome. It just plays so well. It's a lot like my mummy guitar in feel and in sound. I have this movie poster, a very rare movie poster, and I like the movie poster so much that I, I took the graphic and, and pretty much designed it for a, a guitar, guitar body. We had a really very good time in Fresno. We got most of the things done we wanted to, time being the problem. Yeah. We're committed. There was no turning back. Yeah.